Born Adrian Peng, a proud Papua New Guinean, in a three by five minute bout, fought against Japanese top fighter Kota Shimoishi, 10 years younger than Peng. He is a legend lightweight champion, standing at 174 centimeters tall. At the start of the bout, Kota took down Peng in search of a submission move, but Peng, holding on strong, managed to cut his way out, still keeping in contact with Kota. While striking at each other on the floor, a quick strike from Peng managed to slit open his opponent's eyebrow, causing him to refuse retaliation. Without continuing the fight, and according to technical knockout, the win was awarded to Adrian D. Hunter Peng. Today, younger brother Jamie Peng, in an exclusive interview, told MTV Sports how he felt of his brother's win in Singapore. It was very honorable carrying the PNG flag, representing PNG going over, overseas. It's always good to come back with a victory. You know, Adrian's had some uh, tough decisions. He's never been stopped or been beaten. Uh, he's always just lost on points. So, you know, after, after four losses, it was good to come back with a victory. Jamie says Adrian's fight wasn't an easy one, but he managed to pull through and win. Um, it was a supreme victory for Adrian. He, he escaped many, many submissions. The, his, his opponent was a formidable opponent. He's a submission master, a, a judo black belt, and um, yeah, it, was, it wasn't an easy fight, but Adrian got the victory. He says Adrian, who's now over the age of 40, represents PNG wholeheartedly. Adrian's a champion. He's a, he's a true warrior. He always represents PNG, and, and at 40, over 40 years old, where most people have retired, uh, he's still strong and he's, he's fitter than ever. An exclusive video message from Adrian. He encouraged the youths in PNG to stay strong and believe in themselves. Uh, hi, Papua New Guinea. I just want to say thank you for all the support you've given me through my whole career. Uh, I'm very humbled to represent PNG on the world stage in front of millions of people. And uh, my victory on Friday night in Singapore was not only for myself, but for my country and Papua New Guinea. So. Just want all the youth to know that anything is possible if you set your mind and your dreams to it. And uh, wishing you all the best and hope to see you all soon. Yaroma catch. Godwin Eki, National MTV Sports.